Hey guys, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Pioneer DJ DDJ SB2 controller. It's the follow up to the original DDJ SB, which we thought was one of the best entry level pro controllers when it came out a few years ago. It ships with Serato DJ Intro and is compatible with the full version of Serato DJ through an upgrade. It even works with Pioneer DJ's own record box DJ software. So in this video, we're gonna do three things. Number one, I'm gonna give you a basic overview of the unit. Next, I'll show you what's new with the DDJ SB2 compared to the original DDJ SB. And lastly, I'll give you my thoughts on the controller. Let's get started. The Pioneer DJ DDJ SB2 looks a lot like the original DDJ SB. It's got two big, chunky jog wheels, much larger than what you'd find on something like the Tractor Control S4, for instance. It's got four multifunction pads that can act as hotkeys, auto loop, manual loop, and sampler pads. Then you've got four transport pads here at the bottom for play, pause, cue, sync, and shift. The mixer section has two volume faders, a cross fader, and three band EQ controls with separate filter and trim knobs, which I'll get to a little bit later on in this video. It's got an onboard sound card, so around the back you've got just a single pair of RCA jacks for the master output and a USB socket for connecting your laptop. Along the side, it's got a quarter inch mic input with a volume control, along with quarter inch and eighth inch jacks for your headphones. Now there are two effects sections here, and each has three on and off buttons for switching the effects in Serato DJ on and off, as well as one knob for controlling the dry wet level. Both decks have short throw pitch faders for adjusting tempo, as well as a key lock button that keeps the musical key of the song you're playing intact even though you change its tempo. The mixer section consists of the three band EQ controls and a filter. These aren't actual EQ and filter knobs by the way, they're just controls that send MIDI data to Serato DJ, so it's actually the software that's doing all the EQ and filter changes. You've got a browser knob here at the top as well as two load buttons for both decks, a master output knob, headphone mix and headphone level knobs as well as headphone Q buttons. Okay, so the first thing that's new here are the trim controls. Trim lets you adjust the gain level of the track. Serato DJ automatically does this for you when you load a song, but sometimes you still need to make some minor adjustments. So having a trim knob lets you make these tweaks manually without having to go into the software itself. Another new feature here is the five segment LED channel level meter, which shows the level of channels one and two. It's easy to see if your levels are too hot or if you're peaking just by looking at the level meter. And it's pretty high risk too because each segment actually consists of a pair of eight LEDs. And the third new feature here are the controls for decks three and four in Serato DJ. You can just press either the three deck button or the four deck button to control the corresponding decks in software. It takes a while to get used to though, but if you aren't really a heavy four deck DJ, it does the trick. Finally, there's a new pad trance effect which turns the top row of pads into a gate. Here's how that sounds like. I really think the DDJ SB2 is the best choice for those who want to step up to a more serious controller. It works with industry grade software in the form of Serato DJ, and it's a good introduction to the typical Pioneer DJ club layout. Now for those who play clubs or own CDJs at home and are looking for a portable controller to play house parties or for smaller bars and the like, the DDJ SB2 is also a solid option. Aside from working with Serato DJ, it also works with Pioneer DJ's own Recordbox DJ software, is compatible with Virtual DJ 8, and can be mapped to Tractor Pro 2 if you want to. At just under $250, it basically opens you up to a lot of software DJ possibilities. Right, so that's it for my talk through video of the Pioneer DJ DDJ SB2 controller. I've got a full review of it over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Please hit the thumbs up icon and hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.